Hey old soul, just over a year ago I sold everything I owned in Australia and moved with my ex-husband and three kids to this beautiful land of Bali. Now I travel first class around the world, teaching people how to manifest their dream life. If you are ready to step into a paradigm that's so wild, so freeing, so abundant, then you're exactly where you need to be. Welcome. Safety first. Safety. Get your safety goggles on. What a random, random name for this beautiful live I'm doing this morning. I hope you guys are super, super well. Safe visualization versus unsafe visualization. This literally came through before when I was in the shower and I was like, Hmm, hmm, this is really an awakening I had during an ayahuasca ceremony many, many, many years ago. And it's this loop that we create in our society, and a lot of us do this, especially light workers, star seeds, old souls, hey, by Ina, because we went through a lot of trauma as kids. Now, the unsafe, hey, Kathy, how are you, beautiful lady? The unsafe way to visualize and to manifest is that we are not in acceptance and agreeance with our current reality. It's this reality isn't good enough. I'm going to visualize a new one. I don't want to look at this reality. I'm going to create from a place of dislike, from a place of non-acceptance. Now, this is so dangerous because when we do this, we get trapped in the loop because we're rejecting the quantum particles and we're trying to bring more quantum particles in. So we're kind of creating this really messy quantum soup of rejection and wanting and it's, it's messy and it's painful and it actually creates so much more inner work for us. So the safe way to visualize and to manifest is coming into agreement and accordance with the fact that this entire reality and every single quantum particle that's staring at you every single day is from you, is a complete and utter creation from you. And you have to accept you in order to visualize the next version, in order to create the next version. Now we can definitely, definitely visualize when we hate our lives. Lots of people do it, but it's dangerous. It will see you stuck in endless loops and patterns that do not serve you. You may be having these little miracles popping up here and there and things going, oh, this is nice, oh, this is nice. And then all of a sudden you're faced and confronted with the hard, cold truth of the fact that you are living in a life that is not your reality. The truth is this, when we come out of a quantum meditation, so I'm going to do this tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Bali time, which is 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. This uh, meditation I do tomorrow is going to be very, 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 very potent and powerful. What we're going to do in this meditation that I'm giving you as uh, free tomorrow is we're going to activate a new dimension, a new time space dimension in your reality. When we open our eyes from this meditation, what happens is that we are in tune, in sync with this new dimension, this new reality. And then what happens when we are not okay with the reality that we're currently living is that we easily falter back to it because we're in rejection, because we're not seeing the truth. And so when you wake up from a quantum meditation, you're in a new dimension, you're in a new time space reality. Just because you cannot see it with your eyes, your physical eyes, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. There is a tuning period where your four, five, five senses, six senses, I'd like to say six senses, but five senses really, because your six senses are always attuned to it. Your five senses need to wake, awaken to it. They have to awaken to the, the seeing of it, the touching of it, the tasting of it, but you're living in it. And this is the, the issue when we're quantum leaping and quantum jumping is that our sixth sense can see it, it can taste it, it can relish in it. But the other five senses are just like, oh my goodness. And our job to create a life that we desire is to get the five senses on board with this, is to get the higher faculties um, in tune and in sync so that every part of us is this moving, interconnected machine that's just like, I'm living it. I'm breathing, breathing it. This is my reality. But to get to that level of truth, and understanding and knowing that you are fully living on the dimension of time and space that you desire to live on, you have to accept your present moment right now. You have to accept the reality that you're in right now. 
you have to go all is well. You have to be okay with whatever you have created right now, whether it's lack, whether it's things you don't like seeing. It's really interesting because my grandma passed away about uh, two months ago and her entire life she always said, oh darling, I do not like what I'm seeing in this world. I just do not like what I'm seeing in this world. And grandma was a multimillionaire, lived in this beautiful mansion right on Palm Beach uh, with an elevator and a ballroom in her house. Very, very, very wealthy lady. But her whole life it was, I do not like what I'm seeing in this world. And guess what happened when she got old? Of course she went blind because she was telling herself every single day that she didn't like what she was seeing in the world. And that's what happens. That's how powerful we are. Words cast spells, that's why they call it spells. And so I want you to look at your reality right now and go, okay, cool. What parts of my reality right now am I not accepting? When am I receiving a bill and I'm not wanting to look at it? Where am I being an avoidant in my life? Because where you're being an avoidant in your life is where you are constructing this pattern of rejection and this pattern. And it actually creates further separation from self because what's actually happening is that we're like, I want a better life. I want a better life. I'm visualizing it. I'm meditating it. I'm doing all the things. But then you're in your current reality, your current life, and you're rejecting it. The thing about the quantum field, and ironically, this is the book I've got in front of me great book read it for years you square this is about quantum physics anyway this is the quantum field it's just one big field i always show this to you guys all possibilities exist right now just because you're standing over here and you're staring at this tiny little corner and you're not able to see all the endless possibilities that exist right here right now every dimension in time and space exists right here right now when you're visualizing it it means that you're actually awakening and you're turning around slowly. You're awakening your expansion of who you're being. You are really relishing in the ideas of more and more and more possibilities. And it all exists right now. It's all here right now, but you have to awaken to it. And we awaken to it by going, this corner is beautiful. And I accept the whole. When we accept more of our life and we accept more of what is and we go, all is well, all is well. When you love what you're seeing, when you're just, and you don't even have to love it. You just have to accept it because I know sometimes to go from complete and utter hate and dislike and loathing and all these painful feelings that are stuck within our bodies and trapped within us to go from there to love can often be a hard feat. So you just have to accept it. Just accept it. But what you have to understand is that you are the entire field. You have been a millionaire in past lives. You've experienced extreme wealth in all these lifetimes. Like you, you've been there before. So this isn't anything other than just a remembrance. I'm helping you awaken to remembering all that you are because you are that powerful, because you have been here before, because this is no surprise to your mind, body, and soul. You are the most powerful, powerful thing on the planet. Let's get you into this new dimension. So join me tomorrow. There will be no replays unless you're in the Limitless Wealth membership. And so please come and join me. Tomorrow will be powerful. It will be potent. And you deserve to awaken to this entire field. You deserve to have it now. Right now, there doesn't need to be any more lack, any more lag time. We are living in the highest frequency that this earth has ever experienced and relished in. You are a very, very, very old soul and you deserve to have it all and more. So if you're feeling the call, please come join me for the meditation tomorrow. Very, very, very exciting. I love you. I see you. Do the work. Figure out what parts of your life you are rejecting and not accepting. And then visualize from there. Before you visualize, be like, I accept my reality. I accept my reality. I love where I'm at. I love it and I'm open. I'm ready to receive more. And then the visualizations come to you. You're receiving them. You're receiving the, the frequency, the channel of the, the life that you desire because you're embodying it, because you're finally accepting it. But when we're like, I don't want to look at it, I don't want to look at it, well, we're, we're confining our energetic signature. We are literally... Um, what's the word? Like we're contracting. We're not able to expand. You cannot expand through the avoidance and through the rejection of what you're seeing in front of you. You must go, I am okay. I receive. I receive all of this life with so much love and abundance and truth and more is coming. So when you are visualizing, make sure you are safely visualizing through the acceptance of your current reality and the acceptance of your present moment. It may not be what your mind likes, but I can guarantee you it's what your soul chose. Have a phenomenal day, old soul. I will see you tomorrow for the quantum leap meditation. We're going to unlock new dimensions of time, space, reality. Have the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And comment below whereabouts you're tuning in from in the world. Big love, old soul. Mwah.